Okay, so what is up guys? As you can see, I had my reveal. I currently don't even, look how flat it is. It's literally insane. Um, um, yeah, so had my reveal. Obviously can't really see like my actual chest right now, but um, I'm so, so happy with it. Like ridiculously so. Um, but basically I'm allowed to have, a, I just had a shower um, and I'm allowed to have a shower without the binder on. Uh, I just have to spray these with like antibacterial. I'm not supposed to get it wet. And um, I've just washed my binder, so that's why I'm not wearing it. Uh, and then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna put it back on because I still have to wear my binder for like two months. But <laughs> obviously you can't see anything right now. But uh, He basically said that I've got like full range of movement in my arms now. I mean, I'm only eight days post up, but I feel fine. Um, said like any risk of like hematoma or anything like that is pretty much gone there was some fluid in my left no my right side uh, I think my right side's a little like my left side's better I mean I'm really happy with it overall completely but my uh, nipples a bit closer to the incision like line on my right side but he did say that I was a little bit unleveled when I had tits so that could be why that is and obviously once it all heals and I'm you know fade and stuff I won't even notice so I can't like lift heavy things still um and stuff like that but other than that I mean I'm, I'm pretty much ready and ready to go I still have to wear my binder for pretty much a month but I can have breaks and I can wash it and I can shower without it and then after my two week post up which is in a week from now uh, I get like all of those took off and I'll just have nothing on I'll just have to wear my binder for another two weeks but yeah I'm just so stupidly happy like because this this past week, obviously I just haven't seen it, so I haven't known it, kind of just felt like I didn't even have surgery. And I was so, so nervous before I went in, like I literally felt sick, because I was like, I was scared that maybe I'd moved too much or done too much myself. I was scared that something was gonna go wrong. I was scared I wasn't gonna like it, but I really liked it. They took um, half of my stitches out today, so they took every other stitch out, and then in my two weeks, they take all of the stitches out, and then I just have to wait for the nipple scabs to fall off and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, I'm so flat. It's actually insane. <laughs> I just had a shower, like, completely naked almost, but I had the dressings on. And it just felt so sick. Like, it's just so good. I'm just so happy. Big shout out to my mom. Uh, she's been so, so great this holiday. Not only did she pay for a lot of this, um, like, the holiday and the surgery, um, but she's also taken time off work. She's been there for me the whole time. She's, you know, made sure she's like done everything for me, like opened doors for me. Just, just been a real, just real MVP to be honest. So I love her very, very much. I definitely couldn't have done this without her. So shout out to Nikki. I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, you should follow my Instagram, which is thatguyollie underscore for more regular updates. I'll probably film a month post-op video. So like the video. Uh, if you liked it and comment down below if you have any questions uh please let me know i couldn't recommend dr lembas anymore he is a really 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 lovely guy he speaks really good english there's a couple of the nurses that speak really good english even the ones that don't you know they can kind of mime things to you and also just use google translate i'm trying to get into the habit of pushing my shoulders back a bit because i'm so used to hunching over because you know i had tits for so long and now i don't so i'm trying to be more like yeah i mean I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> uh, other than that, guys, I'll see you next time.